I'm baffled, and the family's baffled, how the DA could not conclude uh, that this was an unlawful killing. One year after Independence Police shot and killed a man, the Jackson County Prosecutor's Office says it will not criminally prosecute that case. Now the victim's family is getting help from a national civil rights attorney. That attorney is releasing the dash cam video and now interviews with officers who were involved. He plans to file a federal case soon. Fox 4 Shannon Russo is live with that dash cam video tonight that the attorney calls outrageous. Shannon. And Kevin, attorney Harry Daniels also calling the video unlawful and sensitive and just shocking. He got involved in this after the victim's family contacted him, hoping to find justice at the national level. Mm. Hey, he's got a gun. Put it down. This dash cam video showing two independence police officers shooting and killing 39 year old Tyree Pryor on March 11th of 2022. The scene infuriating civil rights attorney Harry Daniels of Atlanta, Georgia. When first responders come on scene, they should be thinking about preservation of life, not taking life. Earlier that deadly night, police got a call about a home disturbance. Officers say Pryor and two female passengers took off in a white sedan. A chase began, but officers soon ended it, with Pryor eventually crashing at 24 Highway and Nolan Road. You can hear Mr. Pryor that he was moaning, disoriented, trapped. He's got your back. He's got your back. He's got your back. Officer Jamie Welsh takes the backseat passenger out of the car and into a patrol car, leaving Pryor and the other female passenger in the front seat. Another officer then crawls into the back seat, looking for any threats. In an interview with Missouri State Highway Patrol, which handled the investigation, that officer says he saw an assault rifle between Pryor's right leg and the center console. The officer says he tried to grab that rifle, but it was stuck. That's when he heard an officer outside of the car yell, he's reaching again, and he's got a gun. Mm, he's got a gun. Put it down! Officer Welsh and Officer Hunter Soul firing those rounds, with the officer in the back seat and the female passenger taking cover. But minutes later, a different officer makes this observation. I don't see a pistol. I think he saw the AR. Okay. I was trying to get the AR out. Which is why attorney Daniels is now promising to file a federal case. I think if they would have took a different approach and handled this situation different, differently, you and I would not have a discussion about the death of Tyree Pryor. I promise you that. And we did reach out to the Independence Police Department. They tell us those two officers were put on paid administrative leave but are back on the force tonight. Pryor died there at the scene a year ago. The two female passengers were taken to a hospital but survived. Live in Independence, Shannon Rousseau, Fox 4, working for you.